India's journey towards acquiring its first fifth-generation fighter jet has been one of strategic deliberation, geopolitical maneuvering, and technological ambition. The Indian Air Force has long recognized the necessity of a stealth aircraft to maintain regional superiority and deter emerging threats. As the competition for the skies intensifies in the Indo-Pacific, India is now faced with a significant decision whether to procure the Russian Su-57 or the American F-35. Both aircraft represent cutting-edge stealth technology, each offering unique advantages and challenges. In this video, we will explore the characteristics of both jets, India's potential procurement plans, and the broader geopolitical consequences of such an acquisition. India's requirement for a fifth-generation fighter aircraft stems from the evolving security landscape in the region. The presence of China's Chengdu J-20 and Pakistan's growing interest in advanced fighters necessitate a response from India. The IAF has long relied on a diverse fleet, including Russian-origin Sukhoi Su-30 MKIs, French Rafales, and indigenous Tejas fighters. However, None of these aircraft possess true stealth capabilities, a critical element in modern aerial warfare. Stealth technology enhances survivability, reduces radar cross-section, and increases mission success rates in contested environments. Therefore, acquiring a fifth-generation aircraft is not merely an upgrade, but a strategic necessity for India's air dominance. Russia's Su-57, developed by Sukhoi, is positioned as a cost-effective alternative to Western stealth fighters. The Su-57 is designed for superior maneuverability, equipped with thrust vectoring engines, and integrated with advanced avionics and sensors. Russia has actively marketed the Su-57 to potential export partners, and India was initially involved in a joint project, the FGFA, Fifth Generation Fighter Aircraft Program. However, India withdrew from the project in 2018 due to concerns over cost overruns, technological shortcomings, and Russia's failure to meet specific stealth performance benchmarks. Despite this, Russia has continued to refine the Su-57, incorporating new generation sensors, improved engine performance, and weapons capability. If India reconsiders the Su-57, it would maintain operational synergy with existing Russian platforms in the IAF, while avoiding potential diplomatic friction with Moscow. On the other hand, the F-35 represents the pinnacle of American aerospace technology. Developed by Lockheed Martin, the F-35 comes in three variants. Conventional takeoff and landing, F-35A, short takeoff and vertical landing, F-35B, and carrier-capable, F-35C. The aircraft boasts unmatched network-centric warfare capabilities, advanced stealth features, and integration with allied defense systems. The F-35 is not just a fighter. It is an information dominance platform, capable of linking with satellites, ground stations, and other aircraft in real time. The United States reported offer of the F-35 to India is significant, as it indicates a willingness to deepen defense cooperation. However, the purchase of the F-35 comes with stringent conditions, including interoperability with U.S. systems, restrictions on independent upgrades, and operational constraints linked to American strategic interests. One of the critical factors influencing India's decision is cost. The F-35 is an expensive aircraft, with unit costs ranging between $80 to $100 million, alongside high operational and maintenance expenses. The Su-57, while less costly per unit, comes with concerns regarding maintenance, logistical support, and spare parts availability, given Russia's ongoing economic and defense industry challenges. India has traditionally balanced cost-effectiveness with performance, seeking platforms that deliver value without overburdening defense budgets. Given the financial implications, India must carefully evaluate the long-term sustainability of either aircraft. Another major consideration is geopolitical alignment. 
India has maintained a policy of strategic autonomy, engaging in defense partnerships with multiple nations while avoiding direct alignment with any single bloc. Purchasing the F-35 would deepen Indo-US defense ties but could strain India's relations with Russia, a long-standing defense supplier. Conversely, opting for the Su-57 would reinforce Indo-Russian military cooperation but might hinder access to Western technology and potential future U.S. defense collaborations. The delicate balancing act between these two geopolitical poles will play a decisive role in India's ultimate choice. Operationally, integrating either aircraft into the IAF would require extensive infrastructure and training modifications. The F-35's complex logistical and software-driven ecosystem demands a reorientation of India's maintenance protocols, cybersecurity frameworks, and data-sharing policies. The Su-57, while more aligned with India's existing Russian origin systems, still requires extensive testing under Indian conditions, particularly in high-altitude and tropical environments. Additionally, India must evaluate how well these aircraft complement existing platforms like the Rafal, Su-30 MKI, and the future Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, AMCA, an indigenous fifth-generation fighter in development. India's potential procurement of a fifth-generation aircraft will have profound regional implications. If India acquires the F-35, it would signal a definitive shift towards the Western defense ecosystem, compelling Pakistan and China to recalibrate their air defense strategies. China's response could include accelerated development of indigenous stealth aircraft, increased collaboration with Russia or enhanced missile defense systems to counter India's technological edge. Pakistan, reliant on Chinese and limited Western technology, may seek further military support from Beijing to bridge the gap. Alternatively, if India opts for the Su-57, it would reinforce traditional Indo-Russian defense ties while avoiding overt provocation of China, which also maintains strong relations with Russia. However, the operational effectiveness of the Su-57 against China's J-20 remains a subject of debate given the limited combat testing of both aircraft. Ultimately, India's decision to procure a fifth-generation aircraft will hinge on multiple factors. Performance, cost, strategic alignment, and regional security considerations. While both the Su-57 and F-35 offer significant advantages, India must assess which platform best serves its long-term national security objectives. The choice will not only shape the future of the IAF, but also redefine India's position in the evolving global power dynamics of the 21st century. Whether India joins the elite club of F-35 operators or revives its partnership with Russia for the Su-57, the outcome will have far-reaching consequences for the balance of power in the Indo-Pacific and beyond. As India inches closer to a decision, the world watches with keen interest, knowing that the aircraft it chooses will not just define its air force, but also its strategic trajectory in the decades to come.